Why? Okay, it killed a giant bat? Okay. Okay, you scared me there, buddy. <laughs> wasn't angry at me, was angry at the bat. Wow. Okay, this is the home of the king of worms. This guy. He's like the king of necromancers and um, he, this is his uh, court, I guess. And his guards are uh, vampire ancients and uh, ancient lich, like this, this guy here. These are the most powerful enemies in the game, I think. Ancient lich and uh, vampire ancient. Could also be a uh, Deidre lord, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's see what he says about this lady. Fedj C, not entirely sure what to do, shouts for joy and then bows down to worship the king of worms. The shrouded figure stares and smirks at your employer's antics. He then reaches his hand towards her. Before she can get up, he speaks. No, that... that I, don't, I, I don't know if his voice is like that. No, that position is perfect. Hold still, lady. No, I think he's more like, no, that position is perfect. Hold still. A burst of light enshrouds Fedge C, and her body is consumed <laughs> instantly. I, I knew something like this would happen. <laughs> you only find her clothes and the few effects, effects she brought to this journey. Among them, the gold you were promised. You take what belongs to you, the King of Worms says... I would normally loathe such an interruption, but I can make use of occasional sacrifices. Go with my esteem, Breton. Okay, so he's not pissed at me. That's good. Maybe he's uh, even uh, amused a little bit. Oh, ah, this place is so cool. Uh, I despise you. Can't. Maybe these people hate me now because I... Hmm... This could be a problem. Do they hate me because I helped the Underking? Yeah, they do. I mean, this is not good. They won't talk to me at all. Okay. I uh, also think that Tristane would be kind of impressed by this and would like to... He, he like looks up to the King of Worms, so this is not good. Okay, now he does? That's strange. Well met, stranger. Any news? The noble ruler Seldon stepped un down under pressure. Long live Segd, newly made Marquis of Ephesus. Alright. He doesn't know anything about the necromancers. Okay, uh, this was fun at least. We got to see uh, Scourge Barrow. We're go gonna come back here later for uh, in the main quest. Okay, this. Yeah, I want to see what this. What what happens when? <laughs> can do Nightblade versus Ancient Lich. Have fun, Mrs. Nightblade. A douche! <laughs> I'm not gonna take credit for pacifying this one, but uh, it's kind of the same uh, mechanic. Do you have any more?
Yeah, this is pretty unfair. <laughs> okay, we got Ancient Lich versus Giant Bat. I guess there's two of them. Nah, not even two could uh, manage. Ah, uh, zombie... Uh, I want to see if... Uh, zombies probably won't fight the the uh, ancient lich. Yeah, they're uh, buddies. Undead friends. So let's get out of here. I mean, thank you to whoever did that quest. It was so cool as well. Something that was really unique about that quest was that we didn't get the location to the dungeon. We got a like a description of how to get there. Which uh, I don't think I've ever uh, done uh, had it done like that in Daggerfall. That was cool. Very different. Yeah, I wish more quests uh, were made like that. We could have like landmarks or something and go go by, try to find uh, find places in the wilderness just from uh, descriptions. That would be cool. Okay, so now we got problems. Burglar got pacified. And if I'm... Yeah. I don't know. Like, now it worked. It feels like... It could be that if I don't do anything... I'm okay. okay this is a little bit better. That's a small knife. Condition used. It's winter again. That's lovely. Hmm. Regional. Okay. Oh, we can't ask for archaeologists in regional. I think I remember that now. Uh huh. So we're super wanted now. Or what's going on? No, we're just a scoundrel. Why do they send like ten guards after us? Or more. No. Yes, the guard isn't. A no, we'll not surrender when we're out in the open like this and on horseback. What the hell are you thinking? Surrender. That is beautiful. Okay, we level up from uh, etiquette, increase, uh, do luck, personality, willpower, nice, I think, uh, yeah, we'll do two in personality, I really don't want to increase his physical attributes because I, I want him to be like that frail scholar type character. Okay, nice. Okay, we entered in the night. Let's see if there's... Yeah, there are archaeologists here. And mages guild and uh, temple.
The guards really dislike us here in Dragon Tail. Whoa! Ah, shit. Yes, we'll... Okay, we come to an agreement. 300 gold now, so it's more expensive. Maybe my reputation is worse. Okay, we got in. We, I mean, we're uh, on that crazy gold hunt still, like always. Guards were being robbed and we pacified guard uh, so the guards are coming into the store uh, We should have I should make a Habit of just setting anchors because they're a good escape mechanism Okay wagon is full. Okay, let's see No, the guards are not in here okay I don't see any guards I mean, we're getting so harassed by the guards. Oh. We need to sell a bunch of stuff from our wagon as well. I think there's a lot of books we have like double of. Letter of credit. Oh. Okay, are the guards... Yeah. But I think we pacified oh. all of them. Oh. Naturally, without any oh. spells or rings. Nice. <laughs> I mean, also I thought about, like, Tristain, uh, he starts off much weaker than uh, the normal character, but it, if this was kind of some kind of real uh, life situation, his skill set would scale so much better towards the end game. He would be like a real danger to... Like in uh, for the like power. Um, what the hell? Where's the bank bank man? It's too early. Yeah, uh, like a powerful warrior is still just a warrior, but Tristane is like a leader of armies. Where's the bank guy? There's, this is the only bank as well. What the hell? Okay, so we'll take this. Since he, he feels like he can just sleep on the job. That suits him right. I think uh, that's kind of the kind of logic these uh, crazy people might use. He deserves to have his book stolen when he's not here. Yeah, I want to see uh, locator devices, please. Oh, nice. So we'll buy a few of those. That's so good to have. Healing, free action, levitate, water walking, slow falling. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> we 
Okay, the guards are after us. But I think we pacified all of them. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm just looking for work. Some interesting quests to do. Yeah, this this sounds fun. Uh, this guy, <laughs> he's, he's like really happy that, that he, his cheating lover was uh, abducted and presumably killed. But then he, he like was distraught and felt despair when he discovered that the, the lady was still alive and they hadn't killed her. So, but then again, next... <laughs> Next up, he was really amused again when the kidnappers demanded a ransom because he's like, I wanted her dead anyway, so I, 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 this is funny to me. But then he, then again, he this twists and turns in this story because then he was like really annoyed again when her cousin wanted to pay the ransom and he really doesn't want, he wants the kidnappers to kill the late, his uh, cheating lover instead instead of ransoming her so we'll we'll uh, help him make sure that this uh, ransoming uh, s fails okay mother of the eyes mother of the eyes and by the beard of torig the way i see it there are three ways to stop the ransoming one is to make sure that dear kathy accidentally dies before the ransoming date in 72 days of course, I don't know where she is, so that's a difficult one. The next option is to see to her cousin's accidental death within the same time frame. Okay, and that cousin's name is Melper, lives in the hold of Sirdkern, which is a well-fended fortress. Okay, so that's a difficulty there. Finally, you could remove the diamond from the hold of Sirdkern that Melper plans to... Okay, so we can steal the diamond that she plans to use as ransom. Okay, we have three options. Hmm. I think Tristane is less of a killer. And he's not really a thief either, but I think he would try to talk his way into this hold of Sirdkern and... <laughs> Steal the steal the diamond. Okay. Hmm. I would like to. Yeah, we'll use our uh, we'll use our mark of recall when we don't have uh, mana. Okay. <laughs> no. What the hell? Uh, I thought we pacified them all. No, we won't surrender. Okay. It was one hiding, and we're boxed in. Was one hiding? Oh. Yeah, that's the guards' new strategy. They're, they're hiding behind uh, their pacified friends to fool Tristane into thinking that everyone is pacified. Mm, hold of Sirdkern. Yeah, this is such a funny quest. I wonder if that has happened like in real life. That uh, <laughs> someone wanted someone gone. And then randomly, that person got kidnapped, and they're like, yes! <laughs> it probably happens sometime, I mean, the world is a big place. Yeah, and I uh, I think I figured out the whole uh, pacifying problem thing that uh, they would turn against me. That only happens if I attack one of the groups that's been pacified. So if I just leave them completely alone, they actually won't uh, uh, turn on me. Okay, let's see. I pacified both of them. I, I only got one message. Ebony Claymore. That's good. Expensive. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I'm really happy about that because then again it opens up the possibility to get like a huge uh, cult going. Or army, or whatever I want to uh, do. 
Orcish die katana. I mean, it's really good to kill orcs because uh, they drop orcish stuff a lot more, and I think that's uh, changed that role play and realism added. I guess if we run into this cousin, it could uh, it could just accidentally turn into a fight, and uh, that's one way to end the quest as well, or finish the quest. Quest. Okay, so this chest is the switch for the not-so-hidden door. I mean, if you're gonna hide a door behind something, don't choose a see-through cage. <laughs> okay, like this. Now this happened. I pacified both that lady warrior and the centaur. And because I didn't attack either one, I'm fine. Come on. Okay, maybe this... Uh, yeah, this knight probably is the... Ah, yes. this uh, That's why the centaur didn't attack. The knight is the cousin that we're, we could kill to finish the quest. So we'll help this... Uh... So lucky that a barbarian showed up. Because uh, they fight everybody, as we know. Ah, Kathy's cousin, her only, <laughs> her only hope is launched into eternity. That's a well written, that's a beautiful sentence. Kathy's cousin, her only hope, is launched into eternity. Yeah, nice, nice writing. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's so, such a funny, it's such a funny thing. It sort of reminds me of Borat, you know, he's high-fiving everybody yeah. that his wife died. This guy just hates his cheating lover and is so like amazed <laughs> that he, she managed to get kidnapped <laughs> all right okay let's see what he says so poor kathy won't be coming home well done my friend here's the 1388 gold pieces i promised best money i ever spent all right ah that's a nice quest Okay, guys, I think we'll end it here. Like and subscribe and uh, tell your friends, and I'll see you next time.